Hello and welcome back to the Tim Bush channel. I'm really excited because I've got an absolutely special car, this Morgan Plus 8. It's special because in 1982 it won two championships and it's still owned by the driver Steve Cole and it was lovingly restored, repainted and retrimmed by Morgan. Before we speak to Steve the driver, let's have a quick look around the car. This particular car has around 200 brake horsepower, which isn't a lot, but when you think the car only weighs around 800 kilograms, the performance is really exceptional. Okay, just a little bit of history. Morgan was founded by Henry Morgan in 1909, and he went on to build three wheelers or cycle cars, and going on to win many racing accolades and world records. Morgan went on to produce many different cars, but in 1968 at the Earls Court Motor Show, the world was introduced to this, the Plus 8, replacing the old Triumph engine with the beautiful V8 Rover engine, all aluminium, absolutely stunning. The Plus 8 maintained Morgan's reputation on the racetrack. So we're now here with the owner, Steve Cole. Lovely to meet you, Steve. Great to meet you, Tim. What an absolutely gorgeous car, the Pl Morgan Plus 8. That's got quite a lot of history, this car, and obviously you've owned it since uh, since it was new. So perhaps you can tell me a little bit about the history. Yeah, certainly, Tim, yeah. The car, the car was built um, for me in 1978. It was built by the late Peter Morgan, well, his factory, uh, to race in the British Racing and Sports Car Club Championship. So it was only ever built as a racing car originally. Uh, and the car um, proved very successful, culminating in 1982 with it winning not only the BRSCC Championship, but also the British Racing Drivers Club Championship. With you behind the wheel? With me behind Excellent. the wheel, yeah. Wow, what a, what a phenomenal uh, accolade to have for yourself. Uh, could you fashion tell me about, about the actual build of the car? Well, the car, the car, the car is built totally out of aluminium, so hence it's, you know, it's quite light. Um, the engine that, that, that's in it now uh, was built by a company called Hesketh. You might remember them, James yep. Hunt, Hesketh. Uh, and when their racing programme finished in Formula One, they were going to build V-twin motorbikes uh, to be marketed worldwide through Morgan dealerships. And as part of my uh, work deal with Morgan Factory, the end of 1981, the beginning of 1982, Morgan sent an engine to Hesketh Hesketh built me the race engine that's in the car now. Now, of course, the car wasn't originally in this colour when it was racing. It was in uh, signal red, was it? It was, was indeed. Uh, and part of um, my deal with Peter Morgan at the time was that when I finished racing it, he would rebuild the car. Uh, and that happened. The car went back to the factory in 1987, came back to me three years later in 1990. And during that period, it was totally rebuilt totally retrimmed and totally repainted uh, and this colour um, I think it's cherry red uh, but it, Peter Morgan asked me what colour I'd like and I was wandering around the factory looking at all the wonderful new cars there and I spotted this colour and just fell in love with it. What a wonderful opportunity to have Peter Morgan having to chat with Peter Morgan and having to pick your colour through Peter well that's that's absolutely wonderful that. He, he was a great guy, fabulous man, very interested in motorsport, as you probably know. He had his own good competition career. Uh, he, he put a lot of interest into this car. I've got a lot of handwritten letters from him discussing the setup and, and uh, what bits and pieces we should use. He supplied bits and pieces from the factory for me, even an engineer from the factory for me to help me. He was very, very supportive. Well, obviously, I'm pretty excited now, so perhaps we could take it for a spin. Is that something we'll be able to do? Well, not perhaps a spin, Tim, but certainly <laughs> we'll have a ride out. Lovely. Lovely to me. Let's go for the spin. Cheers. So we're now in the car and it's absolutely gorgeous. The wind's in our hair. It's a beautiful day today. Steve's behind the wheel, chauffeuring me around. So I'm in the hands of an expert driver. Uh, thanks. <laughs> so Steve, what do you uh, what do you like about this car? Oh, it's, it sounds like the obvious thing to say, like. But... Well, one of the, funnily enough, one of the things that I thought about when I raced it 
was when it had when it came to its retirement was having days like this when it could just drive along and thoroughly enjoy it because it is a fabulous thing to drive yeah it sounds wonderful as well the uh, the engine uh, that uh, 200 brake horsepower v8 sounds absolutely glorious well it just burbles along it's tremendously torquey I mean we're in fourth gear now we've got five speeds yeah put it in fifth now while well, we're 30 miles an hour Still and it'll out. just pull like a train there we go car in front turned off and it just goes a bit, a bit like being in an automatic look just goes which is the wonderful thing about this engine that was very very flexible very talky yeah. I love the uh, the clock layout on this Steve it's absolutely gorgeous this bare walnut veneer typical of uh, the quintessential British sports car I think isn't it absolutely no touch screen in here Tim <laughs> <laughs> definitely not back to basics <laughs> back to basics okay Steve let's see what she can do oh! acceleration state yeah and it's good isn't it and, it and it's got it right through the gears it will pull almost as hard in fifth gear as it does in second gear yeah it's not the torque of the engine where yeah, it before and that's that's really where it used to win you know in its day on the racing circuit nice light car plenty of power plenty of torque very quick out of the corners and the maximum speed on it isn't that great compared to a Porsche 911 or something but by the time you know a Porsche got itself wound up you'd be at the next corner yeah. <laughs> and of course you could brake later because the car is so light yeah so you could well. carry more speed into the corner and you get on the throttle earlier coming out because it's got a limited slip diff so it put all of its power down and away you'd go was the limited slip diff standard on the uh, plus eight on the plus eight it was yes because it's got quite a lot of horsepower to handle through fairly skinny rear tires so yeah the limited slip diff was standard wow. on plus eight brilliant i tell you what steve stop at the lights that lovely bearble you get from that v8 it's tremendous isn't it sounds absolutely lovely <laughs> and the exhaust of this at the back, we've got it coming out the back of the car when i raced this in the early days of racing it the exhaust used to come out each side oh right with what they call cherry bomb exhaust on yes it. i know exactly what you mean oh yeah. boy was it noisy there yeah it's great fun though yeah. wasn't it illegal illegal <laughs> <laughs> i mean racing circuits are quite noise sensitive now you know so it wouldn't be allowed nowadays but in the early days in fact in the very early days when i started racing give it my age away now cars used to run unsilenced all the time you know great <laughs> Crazy. Well, I'm thoroughly enjoying the uh, being a passenger in the car. I don't suppose there's any chance I could get behind the wheel, is there, Steve? With your permission? Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah. magic! I'd love to get behind the wheel. It's. I must admit, I've never ever driven an Oldsmobile before, so I'm super excited, and I can tell also the viewers what it's like from a first-time driver. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn. Brilliant! Thanks, Steve. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> right, I'm now behind the wheel. Obviously, many thanks for letting me have a test drive of yeah, very your welcome lovely, Tim. lovely car. Do look after my baby. Oh, I will, I promise. <laughs> I'm, as you know, I'm a big petrol head, so I'll make sure it's well looked after. So let's take it for a spin. Brilliant! So my first time driving the uh, the Morgan, it's very docile at low speed. Uh, but it's got... Yeah, I see what you mean by the pickup. It's there, isn't it's it? It's there, isn't it, when you need it, yeah. Wow, fantastic to drive. You feel it, it makes you feel all fuzzy inside, I would say. <laughs> it has it has got a warm feeling, isn't it? The yeah. warm the steering wheel, it's quite I'm not used to having a steering wheel this is an angle steering to be honest with you. It's quite it's quite it's to the old it's very classic straight British isn't sports, it? Yeah. Uh, steering wheel. But it still feels nice in the hand though. This is all leather this, isn't it? It is. It is. And it's gotta be big, because of course it hasn't got power steering. <laughs> Oops. Oh, it has got a glitch though. <laughs> We'd have to put it down, wouldn't it? Sorry about that, Steve. Don't you worry, mate. Don't you worry. It's antique in terms of its sliding pillar front suspension and leaf spring rears. So it's quite agricultural in its setup. Uh, but it handles well. Well, well enough to win two championships. 
Well folks, I can definitely say this is an absolutely wonderful car to drive. And as I say, I feel really privileged to, uh, to get behind the wheel of a car with such uh, a rich heritage and, uh, and history as well. Oh, Thanks right. Dave. I'm glad you're enjoying it Tim. Oh mate, it's amazing. I wish it was mine. <laughs> Not selling it right. No. <laughs> I think this is a this is a long well I, I, we've been together how many years now? Ooh, 43 years. 43 years. 43 years. You'll never get rid of this, will you? Part of the family now, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well that clutch is heavy, isn't it? Yeah. It get, just takes a bit of getting used to. You know, it's like everything is different, isn't it? The whole thing is is sort of going back 43 years, isn't it? <laughs> no power steering, obviously. Let's have a look at this wonderful 3.5 V8 Rover engine under the bonnet. Wow, absolutely fantastic. I mean, this engine must have been revolutionary when it first came out and put in this small car. Let's get Steve back in and have a chat about the engine because it is quite special, this one. It's been uh, race prepared by Hesketh. Right, Steve, so uh, can you tell us a bit about the engine? Because that's race prepared by Hesketh and that was your car. So perhaps you can uh, tell us a little bit about the engine. Yeah, sure, Tim. Uh, this engine, uh, as you quite rightly say, is the engine that Peter Morgan sent up to Hesketh Racing. Uh, and they race prepared the engine to production standards, to production tolerances, uh, balanced, blueprinted, everything weighed, it's very carefully put together. Uh, and Hesketh Racing, you probably remember, uh, Hesketh ran uh, James Hunt very successfully in Formula One, so a great privilege to get an engine built by them. Wow, and of course, this engine in this lightweight car must, as I said before, must have been an absolute revelation. I mean, the power that generated when it was previously had the, the old Triumph engine. <laughs> I mean, what was... <laughs> well, we've well, just experienced it, haven't we, with the drive? Yeah. But, you know, uh, what, what's... Uh, you went from a four-cylinder, two-litre Triumph engine to an eight-cylinder, three-and-a-half-litre Rover Buick engine. Wow, well, I can tell you, folks, it's absolutely wonderful to drive. Thanks, Steve. You're very welcome. Cheers. So there you go, the wonderful Morgan Plus 8. An absolute privilege to meet a Steve Cole, the owner and driver and racing driver of this particular car. An absolute privilege to drive the car as well. Wow, that was amazing, really was. Obviously, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave some comments. And thanks for watching, brilliant. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my other video on the Jaguar F-Type Coupe. It's amazing. You have been watching the fabulous Tim Bush channel. It's the future.